Hello and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to weigh the yearlings. Um, I assume you can hear them roaring there. They're used to getting their meal when they hear my voice. So that's the greeting I get every day. But um, yeah, I'm gonna bring them in just because they're right here, they're handy. And it'll be one less job to do now the next day as well. So I'll do those today, we'll get them sorted and then we'll do the cows and calves separately. Um, it'll just make it that bit easier um, and a little less sorting out and things like that as well. So I have the pen open and ready there for them. I have my loader put in the corner. It's great. That trailer was just taking up so much space. That fits nicely in there, although the grab all right is out a bit, but it fits in very tidy there now, I must say. So I need to figure out how to get the scales out of here. I wonder could I do it in the wheelbarrow? going to be a bit of an effort because <laughs> um, I need to get that into the crush uh, but we'll see maybe dad can somehow help me with it we'll see I'll get it out there anyway but um, yeah I'll get them in I'm going to record all the weights on the herd watch app so anybody who follows me on Instagram will see that herd watch very generously signed me up to them for the year um, so it's great uh, we're going to try it out Dad really wanted it. It's something that he wanted for a few months now. We were kind of talking about, will we get it, won't we get it? So it'll be great to have the app now. Oh, they're getting very noisy. I'll get going, get prepped, and we'll see what the weights are.
I just included this little clip to show you how much they respect the wire. If the cows were here, they'd walk right over it, but they will not step over that wire. Well, that's that job done anyway. Uh, all weighed, recorded, given grass. So it didn't take too long, in fairness. Happy enough, a few of them needed a bit more persuasion to get on the scales than others. But in fairness, overall, they were grand. They got up on it and that's the main thing. In terms of the weights then themselves, uh, very happy overall. Um, there was a joint winner. So the Simmental Heifer, the red and white one, and the big Charlie Bullock, they were both 616 kg. Um, so they were the winners on the day. Now the heifer is in calf. So you'd expect her to have an edge over the others anyway. But in fairness, 616 kg is very impressive. Very happy and very happy with that for the Bullock. So my dad beforehand said he'd be delighted if the two bullocks were over 600 and I said Jesus, I'd be happy if they were over 500 and he was like no they're definitely over that and he was right in fairness. Um, Jimmy then was a bit lighter and dad is a bit disappointed and um, he was the mid fives so to be honest I'm happy enough with that um, for this time of year you know he's not doing too bad. Um, and then the limousines were 472, I think it was, and 477. I might be slightly off with that, but they're thereabouts. So a little bit disappointing because the bullock is actually the lower of the two. Um, and that really shouldn't be the case. But the cow just doesn't really give us um, the best calves, to be honest. So look, it's not a disaster either. They're decent weight. No doubt they'll put it on a bit over the winter as well. They'll wheel up the ration and things like that. Um, but yeah, overall okay. And then the young Shirley Heifer did well. Um, she's not far off the two limousines and she is a 30th of June calf last year. So they have a good few months on her, all the rest of them. So she's, she's doing all right in fairness. She doesn't look wonderful but I suppose she's very tall and long so she is carrying weight so yeah in general very happy with them but now that raises another question and that is do we sell the two bullocks and right now we're thinking yeah we will just sell them now that they're at that weight because we can't really finish cattle here because we can't buy the meal in in bulk um, and because of that we're paying a higher price I think I mentioned that in another video before we pay a higher price to buy it in in the 25 kg bags and um, so I to be honest I don't think we'd make a cent if we finish them so we're thinking now um, we'll we'll send them off to be fattened um, and that'll be it in April, I'd say it was early April of this year, we sold the yearlings at that stage. Well, I suppose they were stores, you could call them at that stage. They were at the two, the two-year-old mark. And say Norman's full brother, so same cow, same bull. I think he's born two weeks before that other one was in March. And we sold him at 545 kg that lad is 616 kg in october so we sold the other fella what's that five probably close to six months on from this lad here and he's 616 kg versus 545 
And I wish I could say it's because we did this and that this year. But to be honest, we haven't. We haven't done anything differently. Yes, we're giving them the bit of meal, but that's one kg a day for the past, what, four or five weeks. I don't think he's putting on that much condition from a kg of a meal or, or everybody would be at it, you know? It's just... I don't know what we did. Um, look, to be honest, the only thing I can put it down to is them being out earlier this year. So we would have put them out in February this year, out of necessity. We pretty much ran out of silage. We couldn't put the heavier cattle out. Well, they had to calve anyway, and we didn't want to put them out. But we said we'd put the lighter ones out. So they went out in February. Usually we put the cattle out maybe the end of March, April sometimes, you know. So I'm just wondering, was the grass just that good? Because people do say the grass around that time is like rocket fuel. And is it? Did it give them all the boost um, that they needed? Because that is the only thing that we did different this year. Um, and to be honest, I thought they had kind of a rough start to the year, to be honest, because it rained every single day in March. So I was thinking, would it set them back? But I think that just kind of proves it, but it didn't. Um, and last year, that 545 was our heaviest animal. Um, Jimmy is already heavier than the next. Now I think they were heifers, all right, but still. Um, we're kind of disappointed with the limousines. But realistically, if they don't put on that much condition over the winter, we might as well sell those cows and not bother keeping their calves at all because it just wouldn't make sense but um yeah it's just an interesting one i mean same cow same bull same farming methods you know everything and he's that much better but we knew it we could see he just had more about him more in the shoulders than the last one and everything but look i don't know uh Something went well anyway, but yeah, I think we're going to sell. We'll see what the story is. The herd test now is in a couple of days, so we'll have to get a clear test, obviously, before we um, sell anything. But I think then um, they'll go. And yeah, you know, it's less expense on the meal over the, over the winter. It's less silage. And to be honest, they're ready to go for finishing now. So... That's a good, good end to the day, I think, you know, um, never expected that weight from, from him, especially anyway, so delighted with it. But that's it. I'm going to leave it there. I have a few bits and bobs to do now today, so I'm tidying up. I have to clean in here after them. They made a bit of a mess. But as I mentioned, they're all back in in a few days, so there won't be any massive tidying up done because we'll be doing our sorting out here and stuff for weaning and all that so um i'll have another weighing video or i'll do more weighing i'll record it we'll see if i have any anything interesting to to say and i might throw it in a video if i do but um we'll leave it there for today anyway so thanks a million for watching again and um, if you liked it give me a like and if you haven't already done so please subscribe thank you